Salmon Salmon Flapjack Special. Don't you know? Guess what time it is? Time for noogies? No. Better. Time for a cruise. Huh? What? A cruise? Uh, on one of those big, luxurious, ocean-going vessels? Remember how everyone laughed when I picked up that truckload of coat hangers real cheap? <laughs> the ones that can't be taken off the clothes bar? <laughs> We're still laughing. Well, laugh no more! I unloaded the whole batch of them on a company that owns ocean liners. And now, the Generix are going on an ocean adventure! Yay! We're going on a boat! We're going on a boat! Yeah, go, Bobby. Put the toys and the fun things you're taking with you in this bag. But, but Mom... Well, what is it, hon? Uh, it's pretty small. Oh, well, this is what you call thrift, Bobby. You can only take what fits into that bag. But, 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 but Mom, you said I need stuff for four days. Uh, Mom, how long is four days? Well, it's four sleeps in a strange bed. Now, just take some of your favorites, and I'm sure they'll have other things to play with, too. Mom, they're all my favorites. Sometimes moms aren't really helping when they try to help. Hey, Doofus, you got room in your bag for this? I... I guess. What's in it? Candy? I'm not telling. And you better not look. I won't. Bet it's candy, Webley. Ah! Gotcha! <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> Bobby, catch up. Derek was pulling a practical joke on you. <laughs> Did you see him jump? Oh, boy, Derek, you, you really got Bobbo. Oh, now that's a practical joke. <laughs> I could take with me, Webley. My squirt gun, my whoopee cushion, my pretend vomit. Cause I'm gonna be pulling practical jokes. I just remembered, this means I will have to be away from George for the totally entire weekend. Hey, 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 Kelly. Oh, this is gonna be some fun now. Come on. Right. Ah, uh, Derek, I think I have a cold. Ah, uh, ah, uh, chew! Bobby, you dweeb! You sneezed on me! <laughs> no, I didn't. I gotcha! Bobby! Look what you did! You broke my CD player! Uh-oh. Am I in trouble? Bobby, you broke my CD player! It was... it was a, a practical joke, see? I, I didn't sneeze. It was, it was water. This isn't funny, Bobby. But... But, 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 Mom, it was supposed to be funny. It was, it was a practical joke. Well, Mr. I don't know what the heck. You'd better learn what's funny. On the other hand, sometimes moms are really helpful. I'm gonna learn what's funny. Oh, suck it in. Watch it. Generic's coming through. <laughs> oh, Ow, sorry there, Howard. Dead. Oops. Yeah. Oh, here we are. This is us, Howard. Everybody get their table assignments for Din Din? Uh -huh. Yeah, we're all set. Starving. Yep. Yeah. Mm. <clears throat> Snug, huh, dear? Oof, da. It is a lot smaller than it looks in the brochure. Uh, I'm squished. I'm living the incredible shrinking closet nightmare. Kel, leave me some room, why don't you? Hey, you didn't hide George in here, did you? Uh, put a sock in it. Uncle Ted? Um, I have to go to the bathroom. Uh, okay, yeah. let's find the head. We've got to find the head? Look! What do you seek? Oh, giant head. Where is the bathroom? There is no bathroom. What? We've come all this way and you tell us there's no place to go to the bathroom? Bravo, there's no bathroom on a ship. It's called a head. 
Bubba, there's lots of things called by different names on a ship. Uh, right is starboard, uh, left is port. I have enough trouble with right and left. The front's the bow, the back's the aft. Uh, ropes are called lines, doors are called hatches. <laughs> there's even a poop deck. Poop deck? Is that where you... Come on, Bubbo. We're weighing anchor. <laughs> Use the head, uh, you know, of uh, the bathroom, and then it's up on the deck. <sighs> Just smell that ocean breeze. Oh, I don't feel so good. How are you feeling, Uncle Ted? <laughs> Better? Better? Better call the ship's doctor. I... I need another motion sickness patch. What's that? Lifeboat drill. I'm gonna call you Hula because of the way you wiggle putting on that life vest, mister. Ah! Oh, that's a stop. Sorry. <laughs> Everyone in the lifeboat, now! And I'm keeping my eye on you, Hula boy. Now. In the unlikely event of a call to abandon ship, you will hear this. <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> Just what do you think you are doing? It's a practical joke. A joke. A joke! Let me tell you something, Junior. This is a lifeboat drill. We take this kind of thing serious. Now on, I'm gonna call you... Joker. How about practical Joker? Ooh, you're a regular funny boy. Does that mean I'm funny? No. Dismissed! How are you feeling now, Uncle Ted? Better. Better? Better get out of the way! Now I know why Uncle Ted calls it the head. He always heads there. <laughs> What's that? Dinner. Captain and the first mate? No, young Swabby. I'm Purser Meeker. Call me Gopher. Uh, boy. <laughs> I'm bartender Isaac Snurd. Honey? Oh, thank you, Fabio. This is just such a perfect true romance dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Mom sat on my whoopee cushion. Isn't that funny? <laughs> my second young ruined dinner. Bobby, that is not funny. It would be in a Jim Carrey movie. Oh, back from dinner so soon? Dad sent me back to my cabin. What for? Trying to be funny. Do you know what's funny, Uncle Ted? Well, right now, I only know what sick is. They say it's supposed to be good for being seasick. Oh, oh. Uh, oh, beg pardon. Hey, that's a picker-upper. What's that? Oh, it's showtime, Bobo. Come on, you know I'm feeling much better. Let's go see the show put on by the crew. Said Barnacle Bill the Sailor. <laughs> now, before the mermaid dancers come out, my partner, Purser Meeker... Call me Gopher. Gopher broke. <laughs> <laughs> And I will improvise a funny skit based on suggestions from you, the audience. Improvise means since we don't have any words written down, we get to make up funny stuff on the spot. <laughs> oh, what's funny? Okay, how about a suggestion, anything, uh, that would bring to mind something we'd say on a ship or uh, on the open seas? Can you tell me what's funny? Hmm. How about that little scamp down here in front? Little scamp? I'm going to throw up? What? Okay, now, how about it? Come on, come on. Something people say on a ship every day. I think I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> I fail to see the humor in that. I can't work with it. That's it. Now I know it's a funny, practical joke. Vomit. And I know just when to do it. Kelly, when's the captain's dinner? <laughs> I guess tomorrow. I can hardly wait. Boy, I can't wait until the captain's dinner tonight. Did you ever notice when you can't wait for something to happen, you have to wait a long time? Hey, Uncle Ted, want to do something? Yeah. 
Guess not. Want to do something, Derek? Can't, Dweebo. I'm playing in the ping pong tournament. Kelly, you want to do something? <laughs> Guess love really can make you as sick as Uncle Ted. Did I hear you say you're looking for something to do, young buccaneer? Huh? How about a tour of the ship? <laughs> My partner is the best tour guide in the Cupid's Cruise fleet. Oh, no, Senor Banderas of the Bounding Main. It is you. <gasps> Mom! Can I go on the tour of the ship? Okay there, Mr. Outside Voice. Yeah, your dream vacation wrecking dad's gonna hit golf balls off the fan tail, so I'm just all alone here anyway. No, no. Don't worry about me. Sure, sure. You go ahead with purser Meeker and bartender Snurt. Now hear this. You are privileged indeed, Mr. Bobby, to actually behold the most important and secretive place on the SS Amor. Wow. Cupid Central. Affirmative. We are in London. Everything happy over here. Uh, can I get an update? Love is in the air. What's that? Bobby, on these kinds of cruises, most people think the reason for all the romance is the moonlight, ocean air, and the oyster bar. But, au contraire, it is all due to our hard work. Call us Cupid's co-workers. Paramore's partners. Romance's rangers. The work is long and tedious. Our only reward? <laughs> the satisfaction of seeing mushy stuff conquer all. You care too much. No, 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 you. You are a hopeless romantic. Romantic? That's where my mom wants to be. Can you help? <sighs> Helping others is our only joy. Bring us joy. Tell us what amorous arrow we may pluck from our quiver of love so that we may employ it to pierce the heart of this victim of love. She wants to spend romantic time with Dad, but he wants to hit golf ball. Show me the lad's mother. Punch up the view of the fantail. Bing! Oh, help me. But this is the part I love the best. Go, Project Romeo! Excellent first move. Targets are closing. We have contact. I'm not driving. Come on, hon. Queen for a day is all. We have romance! Yay! 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 Look at us, <laughs> Oh, Howard, this is so romantic, Cole. <laughs> wow, <laughs> Needlemeyer. What a super name. Come on, Uncle Ted. I gotta get to the captain's dinner. You go ahead, Babbo. I'm right behind you. And for the first time, I feel well enough to eat. <laughs> and boy, am I gonna eat. Oh, no, jam. Ah, no problem. All I need is a coat hanger, and I'll have it open in a jiffy. Oh, I gotta... I, oh, no, it's one of my unremovable hangers. Oh, I can't get out. <laughs> That's an irony. Excuse me. Time for dessert. And my practical joke. Our first nominee for the People's Pick Practical Joke Award is Jerry Stillskin for putting toothpaste in his dad's <laughs> suntan lotion tube. <laughs> Our second nominee is Cheryl Sloan for giving her mother a dribble glass. <laughs> Our 
third nominee is Kyle Beckeldorf for giving his mom a hard-boiled egg to scramble. <laughs> Our final nominee is Bobby Jenerick for placing toy vomit on the floor during the cabbage dinner. <laughs> and the winner is... Bobby, what did you do? Hey, everybody. Sorry I'm late. <laughs> Got locked in the cabin. <laughs> Boy, am I starved. What's that? It's a, it's a practical joke. I thought vomit was funny. Oh, boy. Am I in trouble? Yes, Mr. Manzi, you are. That captain wants to see you. Uh, captain? You... you want to see me? Bobby? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Bobby. Why don't you sit here in the captain's chair? <laughs> Sorry about that. Listen, uh, have a drink. Thanks, Captain. <laughs> you see, Bobby, I was a kid like you once, and I had a tough time learning what's funny and, well, quite frankly, what's not funny. It's hard. Every time I think something is funny, I get into trouble. How do you learn what's funny? Well... I would always give myself a little test, Bobby. I'd ask myself, am I going to be a pest? Would I think this is funny if it happened to me? Is it going to hurt me, embarrass me, or, or make fun of me, or anger others? Oh, and if the answer is yes, then other people won't think it's funny either. Yes, Bobby, that's kind of it. Thanks, Captain Gifford. I, I think I got it. Oh. Yellow. <laughs> it's me. I was joking. Yeah, all right. I guess that was an okay joke. You know, Bobby, knowing what's funny and what isn't is pretty hard. It's all part of growing up. You know, different people find different things funny, just like in the world, you know. Just ask that Mr. Leno and that Miss Rosie. Boy, moms are as smart as ship's captains. Mom, you know what's funny? You know, it depends on many things. Take Uncle Ted's gag suspenders, for instance. Oh, <laughs> oh that's a good one. Yeah, well, what's funny at a party wouldn't be so funny at work. Oh, oh that's, that's not peculiar. Funny. I can see what you mean. Bite me, call me, call me, bite me. Oh, I will just die without you. Uh, figuratively speaking, of course. Don't forget to write me, call me, call me, write me. <laughs> oh, how, how. How, how? <laughs> oh, Howard, you're still the little scamp I fell in love with, don't you know? See any snack shops out there, Bobbo? I'm starved. Nope. Sorry, Uncle Ted. Hey, there! Look! An aircraft carrier! I don't see an aircraft carrier. <laughs> 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 Yep, you sure did. Now that was funny. Sure is, Bobby. Say, uh, shall we? <laughs> 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 <laughs>